One of the hassles of living and touring in Bangkok is the traffic. The city is almost always congested. Lucky for us, we have the motorcycle taxis. These guys are amazing. With their ability to zig in and out of traffic and sometimes on the sidewalks, which is actually illegal. But they help us get to the destinations that we want to go faster and quicker without wasting our time. I'm my mate Nate and this video is focused on how you can communicate with these guys to tell them where you want to go and all the general knowledge about how to use the motorcycle taxis. Bangkok motorcycle taxis are very easily spotted. They all have these orange vests. Occasionally I've seen maybe some blue or yellow or green or purple, but nine times out of 10, they're all this bright orange. And that's how you're gonna know they're a motorcycle taxi and not just an average citizen driving around. Motorcycle taxis are perfect and ideal for those trips that are too far to walk, but really too short to get a real taxi or some other method of transportation. And you're gonna find these guys gathered on street corners or in heavy public transportation sites, such as bus stops, or when you get off the MRT subway stations, or when you get off the SkyTrain stations, that's where they're usually gonna be found, because that's where a lot of people are walking and can get on to a motorcycle taxi. Now keep in mind, these guys don't drive really far distances like a regular taxi. They have their own little area that they know like the back of their hand. They have really good expertise. Typically, they'll stay in that area all day long. So if you're in a certain area and you can't find where you wanna go, find a motorcycle taxi. These guys know it really good. Most motorcycle taxi drivers have less contact with foreigners than regular taxis do. So their English skills might be a little bit limited. Lucky for you, have no fear, my mate Nate is here and I'm gonna teach you a few phrases that'll help you with these taxi drivers. Our first one is you wanna tell them where to go. You're gonna say, bye, and then say where you wanna go. I wanna to go to the mall bunker beat. So I will say, bye, the mall bunker beat, which means take me to the mall bunker beat. Once you're on the motorcycle, you can say, turn right, which is Leo Kwa. You can say turn left, which is Leo Sai. Or if you want to just stop where you are and not go to where you told them, you can say you, which means stop. So let's review it. By the Ma Bunker Bee. Take me to the Ma Bunker Bee. Turn right, Leo Kwa. Turn left, Leo Sai. Or if you want to stop where you are, you say you. But at the end of the day, if you're too scared to speak any of these Thai phrases, just have a map and point to where you want to go or have it on your phone, just anything to help these guys get you to where you want to go. Let's quickly talk about fares and prices. For most short journeys underneath one kilometer, you will be paying 10 or 15 baht. And after that, it varies depending on how far you travel. Most stops now have a fixed fare rate board that tells you from here to there how much it's gonna cost so you don't get taken advantage of on the pricing. Now, speaking of getting taken advantage, my biggest tip for you is to negotiate your price before you sit down on their motorcycle. Because if they take you somewhere and you get off and say, hey, how much is it? They can pull out any price because you're already there. Now, most of these guys are trustworthy guys just trying to make their living, but there are a few that will try to take advantage of you. So negotiate the price before you sit down and you're not gonna have any problems. My very last tip for you comes from my own personal experience. The very first time I sat down on a motorcycle taxi, I had no idea where I was supposed to hold on and I thought I was going to fall off. So what did I do? I wrapped my arms around the taxi driver and he kind of looked back at me just like, what are you doing? So I found out the place that you want to hold on to is right behind the seat, about right here. But from my experience now, usually you don't need to hold on to anything. You just kind of sit there relaxed. You're not going to have any problem for falling off. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any more questions regarding the motorcycle taxis, you can check us out at thailand69ways.com. Not only will you learn about the motorcycles, but you'll learn anything about transportation, money, food, language, visas, anything about Thailand at thailand69ways.com. I'm my mate Nate, and until next time, be safe, enjoy your travels, and live life to the fullest. See you later.